So our expe expectation of patients who receive intensive induction therapy for acute mild leukemia is if they're able to tolerate the chemotherapy that the majority of patients will have an initial complete remission. This complete remission is uh, defined by cytomorphology, uh, the clearance of blasts, recurrent, recurrence of normal counts. Unfortunately, there's a group of patients who, despite getting intensive chemotherapy, don't clear their leukemia. And so we call these refractory patients. We were particularly interested in studying were there any factors before we even start that treatment that could predict who is refractory to treatment and who would respond? Uh, those kind of studies have been done previously. I think what we did differently was really focus on those patients who are refractory and try and understand the disease biology of those patients, uh, leukemia, who didn't respond to conventional chemotherapy. Uh, we were able to, uh, to leverage a wonderful data set created by uh, Brian Drucker and Jeff Tyner at, uh, in collaboration with the BDML uh, cohort, who was a, released publicly a wonderful data, data set that includes clinical annotation, RNA-seq data, exome data. Um, and for investigators, that's a great tool. We really could go in, pick a cohort that matched our description, and answer that question.